uh, in this video I'm gonna explain the difference between push which is make to stock and pull which is make to order applying arena simulation as we all know push is regardless of the order from the customers you as manager of a manufacturing plant you buy from the raw material supplier you stock them which impose a huge uh, strain on inventory of raw material you process them and then the finished product will be stored into the finished product inventory which as well cause or pose a huge strain on the capacity of the inventory and you wait for the customer to order stock okay in order for you to sell your items in case there is no enough customer uh, to buy all your produced item so this will be imposed as a loss but uh, advantage point of push which is make to stock you always have enough unit you always have enough unit and storage uh, to supply all the customers however the pull process is you monitor um, the order of the customer and you produce what is enough to service this demand in a way you have to be aware of all the steps requirement the speed of the steps the scrap rate of the st steps and how much to buy from the raw material and you have to do all this within the time required in order to meet the demand of the customer so let's see how this applied in arena simulation but before I start, please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. If you have any questions, write to my email address. So I'm going to go to Arena. We're going to consider the example of basketball and pull and push and pull process. So gonna make it a little bit bigger okay so this is the pull versus the push process all right so we're gonna start with the first one so we have the basic process which is the create and it's gonna be like a short process and the finished product so I'm gonna link them all together I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we have system in this is the basket balls okay one per minute and every minute and we could say okay I'll come back to it in a second and we have here processing step sees delay release machine one and this is in minutes well and this is the finished product okay this is the finished product so before we do this we have this side which is inspection step and we have for example 75 percent are of good quality finished product and we have here scrapped okay we have here the scrapped one so i'm starting with a push workflow process i'm gonna uh, decades the following we have the raw material per unit is uh, three dollars and sorry, control enter and control enter production 
production cost per unit is five dollars and control enter overhead cost per unit is two dollar control enter selling price is per unit is fifteen dollar okay so all those information here I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it will appear here okay so I'm gonna save the program push versus pull so if I run the program just for testing it and I'm gonna stop it for a second I'm gonna run it over eight hours as one day of production and I'm gonna make it a little bit faster so end of the day we produce 472 uh, 11 stock still being processed and 338 123 to be scrapped and the finish is 338 so if we we need like we're gonna get from the vending from the suppliers 1000 unit and I'm gonna make this 24 hours okay <coughs> so it's gonna run till we get to 1000 as we see it here so we have 743 this is the finished one and 257 is uh, are the one to be scrapped so <coughs> this is what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, start by our result variable this is the push process we're gonna start by our result the first one to start with i'm gonna cancel this for a second we need the variable double click row material cost rmc and value is three dollars pc the production cost is five dollars overhead oc cost is two dollars and selling price SP cost is fifteen dollars. So I'm gonna write this RMC PC OC and as we have RMC is three five two fifteen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here a unit ordered unit ordered five hundred five hundred units and it is one word units ordered okay perfect so I'm gonna remove this <coughs> excuse me so we start with total row material cost just bear with me and total row material cost is equal variable current value of raw material cost times I'll come back to it in a second finished product times number out or system n number out so this will be rms times <coughs> entity number n entities in basketball number out entity out number in process initial picture number n okay as entity and okay or we could do it as well that 
so this one is cancelled you see this one here is system in number out so system in number out this is times rmc times this value no border transparent background and total row material costs okay so if you run this and so we have 3000 which is correct so this is the first one total row material cost. I'm gonna duplicate this gonna just modify this one build expression so we have RMC plus plus variable current value production PC plus overhead which is the OC so we have here and this way we have the total production costs okay so if we run we should obtain 10,000 so 10 and we have 10,000 so I'm gonna stop this for a second and I'm gonna calculate um, the total profit so we have here the total production cost and I'm gonna duplicate this and come here so we have this is the first expression so we have here variable current value unit ordered unit ordered times finished products products times number out this is a unit ordered units ordered times sorry um, variable current value is a selling price okay minus let's see So here we gonna stop this for a second and come back here. So we have here it's gonna be total profit. Okay, total profit, and I'm gonna have a third one, which will be total revenue so I'm gonna run it so the revenue is 7500 because we have 500 units ordered times the selling price which is 15 units 15 units so 7,500 however the total production cost is 10,000 which is we ordered 1,000 we from the raw matter we're gonna process them and put them in stock as we could see 3 plus 5 plus 2 so the total profit if bearing in mind there is always one order per year it happened from a customer of 100 units of basketballs so this is the whole push workflow make the stock is a loss 
However, if there is more orders, things it might get better. If there are more orders, things are might get better, as in the equation. So this is the push process, um, and do watch the pull process, as in the video below it shows. The pull process is make to order, but I need to repeat one thing. The push process, you go to the supplier, you get enough material to do 1,000 unit you put them processing steps and then whatever you got as finished product after inspection you put them in storage and you wait for orders in this example we consider that they order amount of unit to be stored is 500 okay amount of unit as required by the customer is 500 uh, so it is a loss is not enough as we could see it here okay uh, the uh, second video I'm going to explain the pull process which is make to order the link is available in the box below thank you